Okay guys, in this video we're going to go through our decibel readings in our generator shed. So we're going to compare how loud it was before we put it in the shed to how loud it was after we put it in the shed. Hey guys, real quick, before we go over these decibel readings, I wanted to go over the temperature readings that I got while running the generator shed. So in one hour, so I ran this thing for one hour all closed up. The temperature monitor that I have in the back corner there, it showed 86.5 when we started. And when we finished, it was 91 degrees. So five degrees difference with a machine running in a pretty small confined place in one hour. I think that that's a great win. And then remember that same thermometer, I'm able to monitor that from inside the house. So if something changes temperature wise, the fan fails, something like that, I'll have more of a cue than just sitting there listening for my generator shed to start melting. So the first thing we're gonna to listen to is the generator running by itself with the decibel meter right beside it. And that's gonna be at 78.5 decibel. Interestingly enough, I decided to do the same test after we installed it into the generator shed with the doors open, everything on decibel meter right beside the generator and the volume actually went up. So it went to 88.4 decibels with the doors open and everything because it's taking all that sound and it's just pushing it straight out. So then the actual decibels after we closed everything up right next to the generator shed in the front of it is gonna be 74.2. So 74.2 decibels right in front of the generator shed. And I wanna remind you that I had the microphone on me during all these readings, so I'm gonna play you some different sound clips. And what you're gonna hear is not from the camera, it's from my wireless microphone. So that's kind of what it was coming across as where I was in a specific place personally. Interestingly enough, I'm gonna say that I did check right on the sides of the generator shed and that was 86 decibels. So it was of course louder there because the vents are in the side and the decibels on the very back of the shed were actually 82 where the exhaust is. So as a recap for being right in front of the machine with it being set up all by itself at 78.5 decibels and with it being in the shed and the doors closed was 74.2 decibels. Twenty feet in front of the generator by itself was seventy decibels. And in front of the generator shed with the doors closed was sixty five decibels. At thirty feet without the generator shed, it was sixty eight point four decibels versus 62.8 decibels with the shed closed. At 30 feet, we're at 62.8 decibels. All right, guys, so as of right now, that's all I have for this series as far as the generator shed goes. I'm gonna have another couple of videos coming out. We're gonna have one on why I chose this particular champion generator and why I think it's a good generator for a backup generator for your house. Also, I'm gonna have a video where we compare that bad boy to the Harbor Freight 3500, the inverter generator. And yeah, it's not quite apples to apples because this is a construction generator versus an inverter generator. But guess what? It's the two generators that I have, and so I can compare them. So that's what we're going to do. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.